Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a nationally syndicated radio host, inspirational media sensation, and family man. Please welcome our good friend, Willie Mo Jr. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be here. Absolutely. Okay, of course, you know, we have to ask about the baby. How's she doing? Listen, Paisley, my new baby girl has changed my entire life. Yes. Now I have a baby girl. Um, I started going to counseling because I just want to be a better man. I was right. like, you know what? I got to be a better man. I got to get over some of my issues. So I started taking counseling in January so I could be Did a better man. Did you really? Yeah, like I thought I was a good father, but I want to be a phenomenal father. So I started taking the counseling. Level yeah. up there. Yeah. Level up. So now, Willie Mo, we went down to your Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And we started Fine. hanging with people like Ricky Smiley, Smokey Norfolk, yeah. and uh, Tom Joyner. What y'all up to? Man, you know what? Tom Joyner <laughs> uh, and Ricky Smiley now, we're all in the same company, Reach Media. And I've had the opportunity to sit at the feet of wisdom for these last five years I've been on radio and so Tom is a mentor, Ricky's a mentor so I get a chance to hang out with them often. And uh, Smokey's short. So that's right. Well let's talk a little bit about um, you know you you speak a lot uh, in depthly about relationships. You, yes. you talk about your wife, your family of course and how yeah. even just now you, you said hey I'm jumping back into council because yeah. I have a daughter now. We want to uh, play a little game with you called mm-hmm. He Says, mm-hmm. She Says. Okay, okay then, you know. All right. Yeah, yeah and, uh, you know. I'm about that life. You know, what, what say you when it comes to, do you, you, when you jump into a relationship, do you give 100% of trust off the off GP, yeah. or do you start a person at zero and let them earn their, oh. their trust? I give 100%, mm-hmm. like, so I'm gonna give you 100%, give you an opportunity to maybe mess up or what have you, but I'm kind of weird in that regard. Like, I forgive real easy. Mm-hmm. Um, I just kind of got that forgiving heart, uh, but I start with 100% until you show me different. I do the same. I do, you the, do, same. I do the same. Mm-hmm. same way. You start with zero and go to 100 I, I, I'm, I'm 100, I'm very trustworthy. Oh, I yeah. love everybody. Most oh my people. God! Yep. Uh, and yeah, I stay. I'm, I'm about to hunt on. Uh-huh. I love everybody, but y'all started with zero. You got to prove yourself. Yeah. started at hundred. Yes. All okay. right. Well, I have one. Okay. My fiance wants to have a wedding, and I don't. Yeah. I want a small ceremony. She wants to use the sixteen sixteen thousand. Where Where are you going, my man? Uh, that I save for an emergency funds, and I'm already. What three thousand dollars on a ring that was from my savings? We can't seem to come to a compromise. I'm willing to spend five grand on the wedding, and she says that's not enough because it's not. Yeah. What can I do? <laughs> oh wait a minute, Trina, y'all don't know what type of job yeah, this man got. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, if she saves sixteen thousand for the wedding, he only want to use five. Can't she, can't she use seven to eight? Can she have a nice cake? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a compromise. I mean, yeah. a compromise. So, what, so, what, what, what you say? So we don't know financially where these people are. That's right? true. Like my callers, they call in. Shout out to all our callers on the show. And with everybody calling, it's like that girl just so ungrateful. She don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, on, on average, I think right now it's like forty-eight hundred dollars is the average American savings account. Mm. And so for this young man to save enough money to do what he wants to do, I just think like somehow we got to compromise and do what we have to do. Like we spent so much money on our wedding, mm. and then we went right back to this condo and couldn't do what we had. That's to do. Yeah, that's true now. Yeah. That's true. So man, I ain't spending all that money on that wedding, that's for everybody else. Yeah, that's like, true now. I've seen people get married in their living room and they've been together for 40 years. My that's mom and dad got married about. in the living room. Right. And I'd have been to some beautiful, elaborate weddings that last for three days. Right. Ooh. You really have. So, I did. Yeah. Yeah. But you give the woman what she wants. At the end of the day, it's the ultimate memory for her. Yeah. But I think there has to be some form of compromise. So, yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, so yeah. down to the red. <laughs> A post on Reddit says, my wife cheated during her bachelorette party. I'm heartbroken to come. Oh, wow. <laughs> Should I stay in this relationship? <laughs> that's for him. Him, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. You, you know it's an old song that say, I think you better let it go. I yeah. Yeah. I agree. Uh, 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 not a love TKO. I, yeah, I, think, I think we're starting on the wrong foot. Man. I agree. I'm doing that. Yeah, I remember man. my bachelor party. And they brought in girls and all that. And it was like, yo, Will, one last go out. I was like, nah, bro, I done already got my mind right. And so I would think, you know, for a woman, you know, um, intimacy is so emotional. Mm-hmm. And for her to be so reckless with her emotions, yes. I think you got to be careful. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's a great way to yeah. put it. You want yeah. to do some TV? Yeah, I want to do some TV. That's yeah. why I'm wearing blue on these tight shirts. They keep giving me small tights. <laughs> <laughs> they said it make me look tall on TV. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Listen, mm. so I got one here for you. Now, this wasn't actually on your social media, but this is a big deal for a lot of people. Okay. So some women believe, and some people believe, even men and women alike, mm-hmm. believe that the men should, should pay all of the bills yes. or the majority of the bills. Uh-huh. Do you feel that women should jump in and make a contribution, or should the bills be split? 
What say you? Mm. 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 That's you a, know, that's a question. really good question. It so, is. so I would say in my personal life, it's always been my goal, you know, especially if we were going to have kids, to make sure that my wife had the freedom to raise our children. I think there's nothing like a mother's love with the children. Um, however, I think every situation is individual. Is. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you have women, you know, like Dr. Heavenly, yourself, all of you guys, you're kind of independent. You do what you have to do. But I think a man should bake the cake and a little icing and some ice cream on the, on the side yeah. and still do it, too. But then there's also yeah. paradigm shifts in marriages mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, yes. I mean, when I was big and radio, everything was good. Then yeah. I wasn't so big. And yeah. then, I, you know, you come back up. And so I think it's a paradigm shift. You got to have that good relationship, a good foundation to be able to make those changes and adjust accordingly. Okay. I I agree with both of you, but mm. I, I'm kind of old-fashioned. I feel like we should live on what the man makes. Mm -hmm. Okay, even okay. if I make more money, let's live on what he did. Because it make a man feel like a man to pay the bills. That's now, true. if he fall off, I got the back. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But let him have the front of it. Yeah, yeah. I like that's that. good. I that's like that. all right. I, I and then like joint account is yeah. always good, too. Right. Yeah. You know, like you right. put in, do what you have to do. I see some people, like, I feel like if it's like 50-50, you got a roommate. You, ain't you really got a roommate. You got a roommate. That's great. That's great. I'm too right now. I'm a roommate. Yeah. If he fell on hard times, because sometimes it just happens. Absolutely. Happens. You might yeah. lose your job or whatever. And if you, I got you, 120,000%. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. What's yeah. next for you, Willie Moore Jr.? You know, the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to continue counseling to be a better father. Yes. Um, you know, we have a big initiative that we're doing with adoption and foster care, making oh. sure the children get homes. Oh, um, the day of the A is coming up really, really soon. And this year has just been a year of healing and reconciliation for me. Good. No big time hustling. I'm just being a good dad. Yes. And shout out yeah. to your beautiful wife. We yeah. talked about Paisley, but she was birthed from a beautiful mother. Yes. Right now, so she is fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. You better say it. Yeah. We thank you so much again to check out Willie Moore thank Jr. You. Show. You can do that Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern, by downloading the Willie Moore Jr. app. Come on, app.